What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm going to share my top reasons for going to coding bootcamp. If you guys are new to the channel, if you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe because it's all we talk about here on this channel and it really just helps me stay motivated to keep making these videos. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've been showing. Honestly, we're almost at like 200 subs and uh, there's only like 100 subscribers the whole year, last year on the channel. So I really appreciate all the love, all the support. In this video, I just wanted to share again my top reasons for why I went to Coding Bootcamp because I know there's a lot of people watching this who are either just about to go to Coding Bootcamp or are thinking about going to Coding Bootcamp. And so I guess I never really made a video where I just specifically talked about why I decided to go to Coding Bootcamp. One of the first reasons I went to Coding Bootcamp is because I had already learned front end on my own. So I had already spent like prior to going to bootcamp, probably like two years learning um, HTML, CSS, bootstrap and a little bit of javascript it was on and off though i wasn't staying consistent with it and that's going to come up later on in the list of one of the reasons why i went to boot camp but you know so it's like anything else i guess it's like if you're trying to learn a language or if you're trying to learn anything and you only do it every now and then you don't really start getting the hang of it you know what i mean so i knew some stuff and i knew some html tags i knew how to put some things together and get some stuff on the screen it probably wouldn't look great but you know, I was I was starting to get it. So I was doing that and then I got to a point where I was like, okay, I think I know enough to where I need to go try to, you know, do a project for somebody. I need to actually build something, not just for myself because I'm not gonna push myself like a person that wants a website for their business or organization. So I reached out to people in my network and I started, you know, trying to see who I could build websites for. And I had some friends who had businesses, um, small business owners. I had a few friends that had nonprofits. And so at this time, it's basically, again, all front end development. So I would highly recommend trying to learn front end on your own before you decide to go to Coding Bootcamp because I really think that it's not that difficult to grasp, honestly. For anybody who has never coded in their life, like if you just do spend a day just researching HTML and CSS, and I promise you, like you should be able to put some tags together in a text editor and get some things to show up on a site. And then figuring out CSS and how to like make things kind of look better and all that stuff is not too crazy once you kind of know the HTML tags. And then from there, you can go dabble in Bootstrap and figure out, you know, how to use that. And then at that point, like a lot of the JavaScript and C, uh, CSS is gonna be like handled for you by Bootstrap. So like front end, and again, like there's gonna be people out there who blow me up in the comments, like, oh, well, what about Angular? What about Vue? What about React? And that's all true. Um, and you can try to teach yourself that if you want, but those things can, you can build like apps, like full stack applications with those. Those are more like frameworks and you can do a ton of stuff with that. You can try to teach yourself that, but I would just highly recommend teaching yourself the basics like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and building just static websites with that first. I tried to learn back end on my own, like back end programming, but it was way more difficult than front end. So I, that's why I spent two years basically just trying to get as good as I could with front end hoping that you know if i got good at front end and back end would make more sense eventually but it was still like an entirely different world it was really hard to teach myself so anyway um i know i just spent a long time talking about that but um basically the moral of the story is you know start teaching yourself some coding and doing some projects and probably learn how to use github and things like that before you even decide to go actually pay a boot camp because those are things that even though you will learn that stuff in bootcamp, you can have a advantage by just learning and doing that stuff before you go to bootcamp because it's not something that you need a teacher necessarily to teach you, in my opinion, if you just spend the time on it. Even though I had started learning that, it didn't really feel like, it didn't give me the good feeling that I wanted because I felt like I was just building sites and it's like, well, this is what WordPress is for. This is what Wix is for. This is what MySpace was for. Like there's so many ways that you can outsource front end stuff like no shade to front end developers obviously but like there's just so many things that you can do to save you time from having to hand code all this stuff like it's great to know it's useful knowledge but it's not what i really wanted to do though so um but again like i said learning back end on my own was like really hard so I really think it helps if you have a goal in mind and you know what you want to get out of going to coding bootcamp. So for me, I knew that I wanted to build applications and not just websites. Websites were nice to know, 
but not a need to know. I wanted to really know how to build apps. And obviously I knew there was gonna be like front end parts of that, but there was a whole black box of like, how does an app get built that I needed to learn. So that was an, another big reason I knew that having a teacher and like people to go through that learning process with in a classroom setting, that was gonna be really helpful for me because I was having a hard time learn it by myself online. So another reason why I think coding bootcamp was good for me is because like I mentioned earlier in the video, I wasn't coding every day. And I think that's important to do because you're learning a whole new skill. You're being exposed to a whole new world. There's a lot of difficult concepts that you're trying to grasp. And there's a lot of lingo you need to learn. And just to like read an article about something or read some documentation about something, you might have to go read three or four additional blogs or articles just to understand the initial one that you were reading. So there's gonna be initially upfront like so much information that you have to take in that if you if there's weeks or days in between, you know, you coming back and revisiting projects and doing things and all this stuff, like it'll be fuzzy longer it'll be fuzzy way longer in your mind. You know, it'll take it way longer to actually stick and make sense. So having to go to bootcamp every single day from nine to five, I think helped me so much because it made me code every single day, literally all day to the point where you come home, you're like tired, might even have like a headache, but at the same time, you have to come home and do more homework. Like you have to come home and code more. So it's just getting beat into your head every single day, all day, but it's good because that's literally what it feels like at a job. Like that's literally what the end of a day feels like at a job. So basically being in boot camp is almost like prep work of being in a job in terms of like getting there, being there eight hours a day, learning coding stuff, talking coding stuff, talking technical stuff all day long, like is, is good preparation for your first job. Boot camp helped me be accountable in just being able to code every single day because that's where the big learning took place is once you started seeing the same issues, the same errors, having the same problems every single day and somebody explaining the same stuff over and over and over and over and over to you again and it starts to make sense. So um, I think boot camp is great for accountability. If you're a person that has a hard time like putting in those hours at home or like finding the time outside of work and in your downtime to like really code and put in the time every single day, you need somebody to hold you accountable, bootcamp might be a, a great option. The bootcamp giving out scholarships obviously was the biggest reason out of all of them um, that I decided to go because I didn't have to pay for anything. But at the same time, I would highly recommend that, you know, if anybody is trying to learn coding and you wanna go to a coding bootcamp, I would definitely put bootcamps at the top of your list that offer some sort of like financial aid or scholarships. And by financial aid, I really mean scholarships because if it's a loan, then it's not really helping you that much. Um, so any boot camps to do like scholarships or if there's companies that are like sponsoring uh, boot camps or anything like that, that they partner with the boot camp to um, give out scholarships. So I know, for example, with Grand Circus, I know like Facebook has done partnerships with Grand Circus to give out scholarships. And um, I forgot which company sponsored my scholarship, but um, there was a company that basically sponsored like 12 or 15 scholarships for my class as well. And um, so those opportunities are out there. And I think that if you're trying to learn this and, you know, if you know that some of the things we talked about are already for you, like you already started doing front ends, you already started learning GitHub and you've already done some projects. And if you know that you want to actually build apps and you want to be a software developer, not just like a web developer, if you know that you have like issues with accountability or like you just have a hard time keeping yourself on a schedule where you're coding like every single day and making it a habit to like learn new stuff and get better. Or if you just don't know what to learn or where to start because there's so much stuff, then I would definitely look for coding boot camps that offer scholarship packages because you know that could make it a really great opportunity. Like I still think if you pay full price for a coding boot camp, it would still be a great investment. But obviously, if there's ones out there that have scholarships, which I know from experience there are, then I would prioritize looking into those first. And if you are eligible for those scholarships, because with that, it's it'd be great. So even if it's not even like a full scholarship, they just take off some money, you don't have to pay, pay full price, definitely would make that decision in a heartbeat. 
So um, I hope this was helpful, guys. Um, if it was, let me know what you guys think. If you're going to coding boot camp, like what led to your decision of why you went to that coding boot camp or why you chose it? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you guys are thinking about going to a coding boot camp or if you made this far in the video because you're thinking about learning how to code, um, you guys can check out the description box down below where I'm giving out my free intro to coding boot camp course where I put everything that I wish that I knew going into coding boot camp. So you'll do like a front end project, you'll get some back end exposure and all that stuff. And it only costs your email address. So make sure you guys check that out. And also um, there's a link for a private Facebook group that we started guys where we're growing and there's people over there who are getting all the free resources that I don't put in the description box of these videos. I put all my other resources in the private Facebook group. So make sure you guys go down there and get added into that. But uh, until next time guys, this is Darian with Darian Does. I'll see you. But until next time guys, this is Darian with Darian the Dev and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.